So this is my dad's 2023 Kawasaki Mule. And I ended up doing a seatbelt bypass thing on it a while back. And I didn't think that many people would actually want to watch it, but it's had quite a few views on it. But when I rewatched it now, then it's a little longer than it probably needed to be. So I'm going to kind of redo that video a bit. So this is like a super easy install. So all you have to do is just lift this seat up and get it out of the way. And then you've got, so it has this wire right here, which runs up to your seat belt. And then this is your new thing. So all you do this, normally is attached to here. So you just unplug that and then it'll have this little loop part and it makes it to where it basically tricks the UTV into thinking that you have your seat belt plugged in all the time. So all you do is unplug that and then plug this into here. So it's super easy. So the reason that I ended up doing this is because my dad does not like using his seatbelt. So he would end up, uh, he'd have it plugged in behind him all the time, which is fine, I guess. But when he would go to go on the highway, I was a or not highway, on the actual road instead of just going in the field, then I was afraid that he would not unbuckle it and then put it behind him. So the way that this is set up, then right, like right now, if you're going slow, then uh, once you get up to a certain speed, then it'll cut the power and it won't allow you to go over a certain speed. But I wasn't sure how that was cutting the power. So on some motors, it, it cuts the power and like, a weird way then it's like cutting the fuel i don't know if it was cutting the fuel or whatever so i was afraid that it would end up messing up the motor if it did that too much and he drives around in the field all the time and never buckles the seat belt so i figured i would do the bypass because he's still not going to go super fast in the field just because he's not <laughs> so we have cattle and stuff and he's just checking cattle so, but when you, if you go out to the road, then you still have your seat belt. Cause you still use it like normal when you're going faster. So instead of having to like have it behind you and then go to undo it and all that. Anyway, it's like 10 bucks. So I figured I'd just put the seat belt bypass in there. So. And on there, on this one, it's got the top mount and bottom, everything like a normal seat belt. So this is not telling you what to do with your <laughs> UTV, but if you're just putting around in the field and stuff and you don't want the engine to be like lugging about and only allowing you to go to a certain speed and all that, then you can install this and then that'll make it to where your seatbelt light is not on and it's not killing the power when you're trying to drive. But I would still recommend using a seatbelt when you go fast, like normal. <laughs> and this allows it to where you don't have to unbuckle it or do something, or they have the ones where it just like plugs into here and you literally just have like this part that plugs into it but then you're gonna have to unplug it and then put it somewhere and then buckle your seatbelt like normal so that's just having the bypass like it is the way i just showed seems like a way better option and a lot easier because you just if you're gonna go on the road or go fast or do something sketchy <laughs> then you can just grab it Buckle your seatbelt like normal, and you don't have to take anything out of the seatbelt. You don't have to unbuckle it from behind you, like any of that stuff. It's just 
buckle like normal, no big deal. So. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And it's super easy install. I did it like two months ago, I think, and it's worked perfectly. So just bought it off of Amazon and works great. So would highly recommend if you are needing a very specific <laughs> thing like that.